As we turn our eyes back to Aiden, look out across the dark sea, the trackless waves, as the last orange hues start to dim and disappear, and the clouds block out the last of the light. We see two figures standing on the sands near the shore. And though he was in a very unprofessional, unintimidating form, not very balanced and unthreatening, Scotty couldn't help but feel even more terrified by his presence. Your mom left because of your sister, he says slowly. That's why you blame your sister. But she didn't get a choice either, right? She glares at him. He stands for holding the gaze. Did you ever think about her position? She never had any family. She didn't steal your mom away. She probably didn't even have your dad. The first time she learned she had family of her own, her sister tried to cut her down. Scotty goes to shake her head, but something stops her. This deep resentment holds fast inside her, rather than welling up. Did you even talk at all? I... She trails off, the realization stuck in her gut, like a knife buried to its hilt. He steps back slightly, before taking a shaky breath. You hold your sister responsible for what happened. But do you even know if it's true? He stands there in the least offensive stance, and yet Scotty, for perhaps the first time in her life, truly felt threatened. What? What can I do? Well, the way I see it, you got two options. If you try to make amends and she pushes you away, then your feelings will be validated. Or she may accept you, and then you two can be happy together. But you need to talk to her. At least try to relate to her. You owe her that much. She's family. Scotty closes her eyes, allowing the cold breeze to blow through her. She lets the ocean air wash over her, attempting to wipe away the hurt that stained her heart. But there was nothing she could do. Something deep inside her couldn't let it go. The pain wouldn't go away. She slowly shakes her head. Tomorrow is a new day. He says reassuringly, think about it. But Scotty wasn't listening anymore. She steps across the wet sand, daring the water to touch her as she retrieves her sword from the ground, allowing the water to return once she was gone. Without another word, she turns and begins walking away. Um, see you later, I guess. To this, she responds. No. Huh? I don't think so. I'm... I'm sorry, I... I don't know what we're talking about. Scotty takes a strained breath and sighs. I don't believe we'll be seeing each other again. Her words were cold, remorseless stated as a fact and not offered as a conversational statement. The distant tone of her voice emboldened by her unwillingness to even turn to face him as she said her final words. Goodbye. And with that, she once again began to walk along the coastline, the surf washing away her footprints, leaving nothing.
So, as we turn our attention back to the Delta Dawn, we see people starting to come above deck as the sun is starting to rise, breaking through the treetops and casting shards of light across the deck. Your journey has been uninterrupted, and despite not being so very long on this journey, it seems as though the rest of it would also continue to be smooth sailing, both figurative and literally. Making your way across the river, this single pathway through the landscape, there's this general understanding of peace and serenity, and yet there is an underlying unease. This situation is unknowns to the rest of the crew, this ability to uh, be able to relax and regain their, their strength and rest while still being able to man uh, a, such a large vessel on such uh, a s small crew with the assistance of the Slumberfoot you all are able to assist in your daily duties of maintaining the ship and also have time to do stuff for yourselves. People are making uh, ramshackle sort of cornhole, which is basically just sandbags being thrown into piles, uh, circles of rope or shuffleboard uh, across the deck. Uh, but as the day begins, uh, what would you like to do? And at this point, we will be breaking into um, downtime activities. I will be running, rolling for, uh, d depending upon the situation, probably only one or two uh, things that happen each day. Uh, there are four more days of travel until you reach Riverwatch this not-so-halfway marker between Need and the Nuvidium Empire. Whereas there will be 12 more days of travel. So who wants to go first? Oh, I, sorry. Not five days of travel. There was there was nine days of travel in total to River Watch and then 12 more to New Empire. So you guys still have eight more to go. My apologies. But yes, we, we can break these down into doing basically one thing per day. Uh, unless it's something smaller. If you guys don't have anything immediately pressing, I can get into uh, whatever event happens today. Um, I had one thing I would like to ask. Sure. Has Connor felt the presence of Oz, uh, Ozymandias? Am I pronouncing that right? Ozymandias is a name, a story that was told to you through an experience shared memory. So, I, did you watch that video that I sent you after the session? I did. Basically, it's it's uh, it's a visual representation of what the story was, and so this figure told you a story about a figure that they met in the desert of Carthus that then told them a story about Ozymandias and the ruins of his statues that they found. So this is a multiple interpretation story being basically telephoned past to you. So you do not believe that the dark shadowy figure that is somehow uh, hovering over you, sh you know, shadowing around you, both literally and figuratively. Uh, you do not believe that they are Ozymandias, but they are someone that has warned you of them and has helped you in your research because you are attempting to find the... find information about Kitongu and his name and you know all these different things and you believe that now Kitongu is simply a name that he's given himself or rather taken from perhaps another story and one of the countless uh, timelines and realities that are out there. 
but a better designation for him is Ozymandias. So perhaps searching for uh, stories about Oz instead of Kitongu might be a better. You, you you've been tipped off basically. All right. If that makes um, any sense. So what what Connor's probably going to do? He's probably going to lay down somewhere where it won't be disturbed, probably in the crow's nest. You know, still doing his job as being the ever faithful watchman kind of deal. But he's just staying up there so he can be alone and not disturbed as he's shifting through the versions of himself, trying to see if he can find one that's researching and just use that as an opportunity to study Osmandius. Okay. How are you studying Oz? Well, I'm going to try... I'm first going to like assume like a meditative like position, all right? And I'm going to basically kind of do a bit of like Avatar Last Airbender kind of style where I'm basically kind of like dipping in to peek in like another version of myself to see if he there's if he or she is studying and like in a library or something like somewhere where he can they can read a book or have better access to a book and try and use that as an opportunity to study so positive. you you want to shift your consciousness from this connor to another connor Yes, and I just write like a letter, being like, "Connor, stay here. Don't do any stupid stuff." Um, make a make a wisdom saving throw, just because it gives you your your proficiency. Right. Uh, can I have advantage because it's me or uh, no? No. I was worth a shot. This wisdom, is a, right? Yeah, this is an an entirely complex thing that you are attempting to do at the moment. Twenty-two. Okay. Um, you are able to shift your consciousness into another Connor. Who is this other Connor that we are now, uh... uh this Connor, uh, is more elvish in nature, like a high, I'm talking like high elf, like he has the big long ears, he looks like a, a regular elf, but, you know, still has a bit of a, but instead of like probably the regular, like, blonde hair that probably most people associate with elves, he has brown grain hair and he's wearing those big spectacle glasses and wearing a wizarding looking wizardy looking robes and has a little like satchel carrying various scrolls and such across his shoulder as he's probably patrolling his uh wizard college's library or wherever he, this connor might be okay um go ahead and make an investigation check uh, as you sort through the books in this library. Alright, investigation. I got a plus three. I got a 12. Okay. Um, I will say that with that, you you do connect to the, the general stories of Oz, uh, the great and powerful. Again, it there is usually in fantasy referring to a powerful wizard, uh, and it's great and amazing feats, but you're you're not able to find anything that's grounded in reality. You know, there's all the talks of the person behind the curtain, you know, being a uh, creator of masterful illusions, you know, running uh, beautiful cities made of, you know, precious ma materials and whatnot. Um, but it, it's all these random strange things that you know, is usually what wizards are attributed with, with their their accomplishments and whatnot. But there's not a whole lot of specific information upon who he is and where where they where where they're from and whatnot. So, uh, can I? F is it possible I find like a librarian to ask if they could also help me, or would that role still count as me trying to find like someone who can? With with the connection that you have, you feel as though if you attempt to do too much, you might be stuck in this world and not be able to go back to the boat. Do you want to test nah, that? I'd, ra okay. I'd rather not risk it. I'm gonna be like, yeah. well, that's that's what I figured. I just I just kind of be like, well, I put the book back and be like, well, this was somewhat helpful and somewhat annoying. And I just say that to myself as I'm like, well, guess I better get back to the barbaric, weirdly barbaric version of me. And I just shift back to my 
the one that's on the boat. Um, I'm going to say no. Basically, he he took a nap, and so, um, his consciousness moved away temporarily, and this body slept in the meantime. I just had an out of body experience. I just yeah, I, I just went on a trip with, with the role that he got of a 22. I'm going to say that he he's able to do that fairly seamlessly this time. It's never easy, but damn it, the information is too tempting. Um, I would like you to make another wisdom saving throw to come back. Ah, damn it, I hope I come back. I got another 22. Nice. Hey, Talia. Talia. Howdy. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. It's all right. It's good. Had to shower and get something to eat. Completely understandable. We all do it. Um, Connor, as you come back from your uh, otherworldly jaunt, you wake up and the sky is completely black. And you look around in every direction and the horizon is just completely black. The trees are still there. The shore is still there. The boat is still there. But everything is coated in this deep shadow. As if there's just no light anywhere. There's no color. And yet you can see like vague ripples across the water. And there's this general understanding of where you are. But as you look around this place is almost horrifically unrecognizable. It's like you've come back to a nightmare. Like you've woken up into a nightmare. I kind of cast a flare to like push the darkness away from me. Like I draw my dagger and I put flare on it just so I can just to push the darkness away from me so I can use like as a little torch. Yeah, you you cast flare in it, uh, create some light and whatnot, and it does bring color back to you and everywhere around you, which leads you to believe that this is literally just shadow, and that's the reason why there's no color, because there's no light anywhere else. And you make your way down from the... uh, You were up in the crow's nest? Yes. As you come back down, you see that everybody on the ship has been turned to stone. What People the hell? moving and performing actions and are just simply frozen in place. Do I see? Uh, do I see like my uh, the crew like uh, Talia? Uh, do I see Joshua? And them? Make an investigation like- check. I have decent investigation. I'm not good at it. Uh, I will allow perception for this, but the DC will be a little higher. That, that is very fair, but I got great perception. I got a 26. Okay. With a 26, you are able to find uh, the rest of your fellow uh, companions. Talia is positioned by the wheel, and there is no shock to her. Holgir is running through the manifest as usual. Joshua is just sitting, tinkering with something. Mai is climbing and hanging from the ropes. And everyone's just simply caught in these general everyday poses. As if they did not even see whatever it was that caused this to happen to them. Do I see Jack? You do see Jack. And Jack is hanging from one of the ropes, leaning over the edge, looking out across at something, peering as if perhaps maybe he was the only one that did see something for whatever split second it was before it happened. 
Tristan Gack, I, I kind of point the dagger with a flare and kind of push it outwards, and, like to its max range, which is 200 feet, to see if like if it like hits anything. Uh, flare is the a spell that I made. So basically, how it works is you launch it. It, yeah, it, it's not like shooting. Mage Hand where you can control where it floats. You are you are just shooting it out, basically. Yeah, I go like to the edge of the ship where I'm not gonna hit anything or anyone on the ship, and just shoot it off into the direction he's looking. Okay. As you shoot it out, it flies towards the bank and where the cliff side would be, and then it seems to continue. As if it's just getting smaller and smaller, but doesn't hit the land. And then it does hit something. And that wall ripples and begins to glitch out. And you see these tears in the fabric of reality begin to warp and ripple. And you realize that there is something there and the environment around you is just a mirage and as it begins to disappear you realize that the boat under no supervision is beginning to drift closer and closer to that wall and is about to crash into it i run for the uh i run for the wheel and i pull talia back i'm going to carefully pull her back you know like talia is gripping the wheel completely the only way that you can try and remove her from it is to either attempt to lift her off of it or pry her hands off of it, which would possibly just shatter. I cast Enhance Ability on myself to lift her off it. Okay, please make a strength and I, check. Yeah, and naturally I give myself the strength benefit. All right, you have advantage. I got a zero to it, so thank you to that benefit. I got a 12. Okay. You go to lift her body, and you can lift her feet off of the ground, but unfortunately she is still connected to the ship. However, I will say that with that, you can kind of lift and hold her and use her <laughs> in like a weird, awkward situation oh, to attempt to steer the boat. A weird steering wheel. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be like, ah, sorry, Talia, and I'm just going to just try and angle her in a position where I'm, I'm trying to hold it in a way where it's not weird, but it's like... I'm going to say make an athletics check. And I got advantage because of athletics. You, you, do, you do still have advantage because it's a strength-based check. I got a 22. Okay. You deftly begin to kind of steer the vessel. Uh, you, you tilt it away uh, and you do just manage to save it. Rather than crashing into the surface, it skids just off and glances against it, and you turn and watch in horror as the side of the vessel scrapes against this wall, and Jack's outstretched figure skids against this wall, and like a belt sander is just slowly eroded away until there's nothing left except for his boot planted on the edge of the ship and his hand clutching the rope. And then suddenly you snap back and you're standing on the boat of the ship and you're grabbing Talia in this awkward fashion. I was screaming, Jack! Jack! No! And I just realized, oh crap, things are back to normal. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, Talia uh, Just out of nowhere Connor is grabbing your waist Or I'm just doing whatever. it like uh, Doing it like I'm doing it weird <laughs> And he's screaming like, like Steer the ship <laughs> And I'm just like Doing it weird Titanic style too I'm like Hey Talia Hey Uh nice uh, outfit you know it's very practical and seaworthy um you're gonna think i'm crazier than usual but uh jack's been erased from existence and uh i just say this all from being annihilated talia make a wisdom saving throw 
if you don't mind. No, son of a bitch! You roll that bad? It's a six. You don't know who Jack is. Oh, fuck. Connor mentions <laughs> Jack like it's somebody that you're supposed to know, and you have no idea what he's talking about. I can't believe we lost Jack. I'm, I'm still holding her up, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I still can't believe we lost him. He just got grinded out of existence, and not even the fun kind of grinding, just grinded out of existence. I mean ground, ground out of existence. Joshua just kind of walks up behind the two. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, he just sees me holding up Talia, and I'm like, whatever, he's he's faded out of existence. Oh, God. Oh, All God. right, Joshua, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Meanwhile, from like 10 feet away, Captain Hardgrave is looking at Talia with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> I mean, he's the guy that got me on this ship. I'm just gonna shrug my shoulder. While, while rolling a wisdom saving throw, Joshua is just gonna hug them both. While I'm still holding her up. Alright, what'd you get, Josh? A 16. Okay. You. You don't understand who Joshua. Or you don't understand who Jack is, but you do understand that Connor isn't crazy. Obviously. You you don't specifically remember Jack, but you can believe that there's probably some Jack that you knew. I mean, it's like, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be on this ship, because I think the captain really hates me. I'm pretty sure everybody hates you. No, I'm joking, Connor, I'm joking. I mean, this Connor's not very likable. And whose fault is that? I don't know, fate, this Connor's choices, you know? I just leave and they do the thing, you know? You're right, you just leave them with tons of emotional baggage and they have to deal with it. <laughs> Not it. They don't know it. They don't know what's going on. I just go and do my thing and then... Yeah, you just possess yeah. their body and control them and take them away from their life for a few days. I mean, it's not like I do anything bad, you know? That I know of. Days, months, years, it's all the same. I mean, come on. That's me. Days, months, how do you measure a year in the life? I don't know, I just in, go with whatever feels like good In guys. daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still holding Talia up, and I'm just like, Doing a whole random. Alright, no, it's oh cool. God. Nobody got that reference. It's fine. I, I got it. That's that's all. I, okay, I then, like, like, call it out because that's how you get egg points. Damn it. Anyways, I'm just still holding Talia up and I'm like, oh my god, Jack, he just got grinded out of existence by a big black wall of force. I mean, ground, Connor. Grounded, and if grinded. one of our shipmates was so happened to be obliterated by some cosmic force, this means we must make post haste to. Yellow stones too. Yellow stones too. Stones too. Yeah, y'all were all like petrified, and Jack saw something. I don't know what it was, but I, I shot at it with a flare, and next thing I knew, it, it, we I just saved you all. By the way, just for clarification, I just saved us all from being wiped out from whatever that wall of blackness was. <laughs> All right, so Talia, yeah. Captain Hardgrave clears his throat <laughs> and just walks off, giving you a look like you deal with this. <laughs> so Talia, yeah, we all know Connor isn't crazy. At least I do, because I'm the smartest. But hey, well, you use me? Let, let let's be very I clear here. Spoken. He is crazy. He's just very sane crazy. I am a functional lunatic. Okay, either way. Wait, is whole gear whole. <laughs> is whole gear I imagine. I'm, I'm walking up with my report. Ah, uh, whole gear. 
uh, you and Jack were actually talking about like cargo manifests and stuff like yes last night. I, I, I wasn't very paying attention if I'm being very honest. I, that kind of stuff honestly sounds boring as all hell to me if I'm being honest. Anyways, I, you gotta remember Jack, right? Come on. Seriously, yeah. Hulk here, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> he gets a now one. Saving throw. He gets a now one. I'm calling it. <coughs> it's not rolling. Maybe I'll get a nat 20 and remember exactly what I'm talking about. I hope since it just spam tapped it, it doesn't just absolutely go nuts. Well. Give it, give it a little time to think. We can come back to it. Maybe reset it. Like reset the application, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you the whole year. I, I want to try and learn this weird, like, marketing thing and all that other stuff you like to do. But I, I got to be very honest with you, man. It's very boring. But anyways, y'all were talking last <laughs> night. Y'all were talking about the inventory. And uh, Gee, we were talking about how uh, <laughs> how how the whole plan about it starting a cult was a real bad idea. It still is. Make no but, mistake. Uh, honestly, I just want to let it, I just want to let it roll to see how bad it gets before it gets better. I, I, I'm just a genuine curiosity for that. Oh, but Joshua, uh, cult bad idea, guild on the other hand. If you could put together an artisan's guild. Okay, now that artisan I can actually guild. that I can actually yeah, join and see it working. Then, if okay. you still want to do a thing with religious fanatics, you can have a steady base. Yeah, you can worship like uh, I don't know, worship the forge or some shit. I, I don't know how religion works. I, I never. No, really it's stuff. for my patron. A while ago, you know the fiery worm man. Yeah. I don't know how your he... patron would like to be called a worm. Not a worm, literally a fireball. Oh, oh and by said the way, he my... looks like a flaming worm. I never I said always... that. Well, I like to like imagine him like a big Pac-Man. Uh, yes, that is exactly <laughs> how I described him. He is a giant maw. He was he was literally Pac-Man-esque, where he was just a flaming ball of fire with teeth. <laughs> I'm just imagining Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I'm just imagining Pac-Man. Yeah, this shit just will not load. Have you resetted it, or it, dumb question? It, like, like, like the app won't load, so I'm just gonna go to an app array. Yeah, you could just ask Google to roll a d20 for you. Yeah. Uh, fourteen. Eight plus six. Okay, you also do not remember a Jack. But you, you believe that Connor knows of a Jack. Yeah, he's a What's very that? slippery dude. He was like a, I don't know, a hero back in Mead. No, I got it's nothing. possible. Oh, oops, sorry, hold here. Oh, no, I'm just saying I don't have anything. I, I, the only guy I can think of is the leather worker. Well, now he's the leather worker, but he wasn't necessarily slippery as he was just bad at being a thief. But he was really good at being a thief. Oh, he yeah, was... the, the, that's not this guy. But yeah, uh, I apologize if a friend you brought got erased, I guess. I pointed out where but, his little boots were and be like, he was right up there. He was pointing at something over there. Are the boots still there? No. Uh, and he wasn't okay. pointing, he was looking. He was looking at something. Is he looking for religion? No, he was Shut not for religion. This is not some religion thing, man. He, 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 ah... I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty bad pitch. Aww. Anyway, Talia, I'm making a guild. Well, um, formerly uh, called now guild. It can be a cult <coughs> if the people unanimously 
side it is. I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Cult is usually... If you do it and the, everybody agrees and it's on the up and up, then it's just religion. Cult implies that there's just, like, a bunch of dudes out in the woods worshipping a tree. Which we might find on the way. Alright, well, I do believe we must make post-haste before any more of our crew gets ground by a wall of sorts. Do you have a plan <laughs> on making the boat go faster? Why, yes I do. Does Going it to... include fire? Because that's a probably a bad idea. A very bad idea. I, I put... I put Talia down, by the way. Thank God. I will say, this Connor has excellent core strength. That was a <laughs> I, I do crunches every day. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was just holding her for like two minutes straight. Mm -hmm. I mean, magic, it never hurts that magic, but also, it, it also pays to do a lot of core exercises. I mean, you gotta have these pecs. <laughs> uh, I pull out my uh, looking glass and look at his chest. Can I see pecs? You don't need the looking glass. <laughs> He's red. I know. For, for dramatic effect, I'm going to pull out my looking glass, look at his chest, and say... I don't see anything. Make make a perception check. Can I make deception check? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can make a performance check, Connor, to flex your muscles. Yeah, I'm gonna do performance. Okay. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. What'd you get for perception? Give it now 20 or something. If you can see your modifier, you can just roll a d20 on Google or something. Ooh! I got a. I rolled a 2 for a 9. Oh, hell yeah. I, uh, I am red. I'm you're sorry. not certain, but you think you see his individual skin particles and they're just tiny abs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that flabby. I'm not that flabby. I am become ab, destroyer of worlds. Let's become ab. E each skin cell is one ab. Oh, I, so he look he looks like he's covered in scale mail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only and if you look really awesome. closely, though. <laughs> that's a condition. I think, a, I think we need to find a salve for that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know what like it is, that. but there's a spell for that. A lot of ladies. There's love a spell pecs. for everything now. Ladies love my packs, you know. It's a it's a good luck. It's like the, it's like the new thing. Instead of there's an app for that, it's, there's a spell for that. I dislike that. <laughs> I love that now. I'm gonna do that now. Uh, Joshua just. Says to Connor, Connor, do you have a teleportation spell? I do not. No. No. Let me double check. Did no. somebody say teleportation spell? Oh no. It, it's funny because it, most of you have access to different forms of teleportation. Actually, I had Dimension Door. What? That's what I have. For real? Yes. Why didn't yeah. you just use Dimension Door to go to... I got five... It's only, I can only go 500 feet at a time, bro. Yeah, same here. And I got Polymorph, and honestly, that's, that, that, that just hurts to do it. And, again, the way that I rule Dimension Door is that you actually do create a door for a few seconds. So, typically how it works is that you can only move a couple people through... I will allow you to throw items and whatnot, or even if, like, if someone, you know, flying like a, 
you know, a canoe, you know, you could probably teleport them through the dimension door, but this boat is much larger than a canoe, so. You would have to use something Wait. like gate if you wanted to move this vessel. In theory, if you opened up a dim well, no, you couldn't do a dimension door at the bottom of the ocean, but it'd still be an interesting thought. All right, it would just like gallons of water would burst through. Yeah, yeah. It would be basically, basically uh, it would basically be create water or destroy water if you're sending the water away somewhere. Less it's just a convoluted, so <laughs> yeah, just a different spell slot. I mean, I have that too. Yeah, but it's if you need if you need water dealt with, either taken or given away, or all other applications. Talia is the person to do it. I mean, she has the water powers. This is her domain. Anywho, you all notice there's a commotion on the deck. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua rushes Unless you want to keep that. talking about the different teleportation abilities y'all got. Connor's just like, I'm sorry for what we tell you, I'm sorry, yeah. I just run off towards the commotion. Ashua okay. picks up Talia in whole gear and says, let's go fight to stop ourselves from remembering. I, I jump onto Joshua's like torso and just kind of do a Koala style. That what the fuck are you guys doing? He's carrying y'all, so I thought I'd just join in. I'm just gonna walk down the stairs. Ah, <laughs> no okay. uh, oh, fun. But seriously, let's go. Fucking break your legs on your own time, guy. You you hear uh someone communicating with Captain Hardgrave. All right, let's assassinate the captain now. Oh my god! No. What is with you in assassinations? Are you sure you're not like Captain Hardgrave? Turns and looks at you, even though you said that outside of character. No! You just give the vibe. You just give the vibe like you're plotting to kill me. He can just sense it. He's a captain. He's breaking to. the fourth wall. I mean, technically, technically, it's fifth wall, too. Anyway. You guys, we're not Deadpool. No, we're not that funny. <laughs> anyway, what's that? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What's What's happening, Captain? Yeah. Captain, we're missing this somebody. Oh, oh yeah? Who are we missing? Jack, he's the dude that got me on this ship. Our Lord and Savior. What? No. Uh, what are you talking about? Jack's working below deck. No, his name is Slippery Jack. He's like a he's like a little dude who who does weird magic stuff and really he, deceptive. He looks strong. at you quizzically. Slippery Jack never left the dock with us. He got you on board the vessel, but he stayed at uh, need. Felt his oh, duties no. were better met there. No, he came with us. I, I saw him, he was right up there. I pointed at the at the railings that the stone one was from he was right raises a giant hand and waves you away dismissively uh, before turning ah, to the rest of the group ah, fuck you well if you're you must not like being on this vessel I have very mixed feelings right now you do know I have court martialed for people or less be on here as a guest from a friend of mine. So you best nice, prove man. yourself. Fine. I'll handle Please. the smack talk for now. Anywho, the rest of you, if you're interested, it appears as though we've uh, got a group of snufters. And uh, if anybody. Snufters? If anybody would like to make a nature check, they may. I'm not gonna yeah. make it, but I'll do it anyway. I, I will I will allow the boys to make a history check. 
I got a 16 on nature. Actually, Talia, you can make a history check too, but the history check will be higher, DC. I got a 16. 16. I rolled a 13. Uh, nature. Okay, 16 nature. Uh, Talia, you got a 13 for nature? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you do know that snufters are bottom feeder fish. So it's strange that they're in a river. Oh, gear, Josh, what do you get? I didn't roll one. Oh, okay, you don't care. Uh, Holgear, were you rolling? Yeah, but my thing's still wacky, so I'm still just gonna use Aberrant. Okay. Uh, you can make nature, nature or history. History's better Same. for you. Okay. Ooh, dirty 20. Nice. Okay. Uh, Connor and Holgear, you would know that Snufters, uh, specifically the ones relating to need, uh, were drawn by the activity in the mining process and are one of the few species of organisms that live in the man-made waters uh, of the river that cu cuts through the land. Um, and they, n snufters specifically, are bottom feeders that kind of eat anything and have learned to kind of survive off of it. So they will eat... Uh, any anything that they can pretty much get their hands off of and have actually been known to uh, accumulate uh, magical particles and subside off of those so they're basically like uh, they're basically like clams where you can capture them and then you know open them up and get uh, fragments or shards of like magical crystals and properties and whatnot um, or they could have just straight up eaten an uh, entire magic item. I call the loot. Oh, um, I don't get any magic stuff. Yeah, and uh, Captain Hardgrave was just talking to an individual, individual that cast Detect Magic, and there is a bevy of all different types of magic in this current school of fish that are gathering around. Um, and basically the idea is that uh, you guys are actually encouraged to help uh, uh, either uh, kill or accumulate these fish so that they are not eating the whole of the ship because the ship in and of itself is magical. Um, oh, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, so, th yeah, there is a large school of shit fish uh, uh, surrounding the, the boat right now. Uh, with a 16, I'd like know they have like any like natural predators or like an animal that could capture them easy enough. Um, with a 16, there aren't any specific predators other than you know generic fish predators that you can think of. Ah, damn it. All right, well I'm gonna go fishing. Anybody care to join me? All um, right. I have I have one question. Yes. Uh. In game, mechanics yeah. wise, yes. Do you consider uh, like thunder damage underwater? So like, my concern is that like when you drop a grenade or like a piece of dynamite in the water, it creates a shockwave that travels through the water really easily, mm -hmm. and will rip apart the guts of just about anything. Yeah, a depth I'm worried charge. that if I, I'm worried that if I jump in the water cast a thing that does thunder damage I'm going to get hit too yes um, I will say that with a proper uh, magic casting roll I don't know what your your modifier is uh, that you can direct it away from yourself and not hit yourself with it because uh, I believe thunder wave is a box in front of you not from you but in front of you directed away from you yes um, I just wasn't wasn't sure if the water would negate that. The the it, the main issue uh, that you would have about jumping in the water is then getting back on the ship because it is it is moving at a quite uh, speedy pace. Captain, do we have nets? Um. 
th there are people that are getting nets and yes that is what they are doing you you can either assist people in doing that um, and they're like throwing them into pails and barrels and then they'll like cut into them later um, and you can also just fish for them too um, and if you have something some sort of magical bait you will attract the the larger ones that are stronger and may contain better loot um, so yeah this is literally a gachapon of like random magic stuff that you can get from this and that is what this this day is going to be about is dealing with uh, the school of fish so I got two ideas uh, one's a minor can I use like minor illusion or mage hand act as like bait to draw them in they will be attracted to the illusion because of its magic, um, but then it will be completely dispersed. And it, it's not based off of sight. You know, they are drawn towards uh, essence of like magic and whatnot. Specifically, okay. the these types of snufters are drawn towards magic. All right, I I'm going to use, cast like minor illusion of a giant ham. Or the largest sand I can make, and like put it in here, like whatever nets are trying to use to catch, like inside one of the nets that they're setting up to catch them in. Okay, yeah, uh, I will say that you can do that to basically use the help action to assist in uh, helping people. Uh, would it be overkill to give like uh, the guy like a uh, bardic inspiration? Um, yes, specifically because you're not. This is a group effort, and I will say that that will be of some assistance, but I think Bardic Inspiration would be better suited to helping uh, an individual person like your party member. Okay, uh, who's going to go first? Uh, Joshua sure. is. Okay. And he jumped into the water. Uh, okay. I give Joshua Bardic Inspiration. Okay, Joshua, please roll me initiative. <laughs> Oh uh, shit, I'm magic. Yes, you idiot. Why did you say you have to get idea? No, uh, this okay. is literally because the boat is speeding past you, and I'm going to say that you have a limited um, time to do something to get back on the ship. It should have been me. I could have just dimension toured back onto the ship. Same here, but I didn't want to get eaten. I, I will say, if someone wants to spend Dimension Door to get Joshua back on the ship, you can quickly do that. I, I can spend Dimension Door because you're a warlock. You got limited spell spots already, so I can I got plenty, so I'll just use Dimension Door to bring him back onto the ship. Alright, I will say, with that, you're using Joshua as bait, so Joshua, please make me an Arcana check. Let's see how magic you look to all these fish. <laughs> Don't get to add Bardic Inspiration. He is like an in what is it a vessel of the uh, yeah I I will automatically give him an advantage with this. Could I also use? Could I also turn on my insatiable flames for a couple of minutes? Do you Thanks, want to hope. burn yourself alive in the middle of the water? <laughs> yeah, you no, know that's a bad no, idea. No, Never mind. Let's go. Don't. That yeah, we're all going to die. All right, arcana check, arcana check, arcana check, arcana check. Arcana I mean, arcana. if you if you wanted to do that and then fly back onto the ship, you could do that as well. I'm gonna die. I, I was just saying that for this one venture, let's see how many fish get summoned to you as you get dimension doored back onto the the boat. This is to see how many other fish you bring with you. Got a dirty twenty. Okay, um, I am going to use a d100 then. Yo! Oh, I just feel so bad. Um, that is 97. <laughs> oh. Hello. 
Oh, well, man, you are. Okay, so e- here's what happens. People like start putting out nets and they're just kind of scooping up these fish because they're not really paying attention. They don't really see the nets because the nets themselves aren't magical. So they're just kind of, you know, spearing them or fishing them up. As soon as Joshua gets in the water, boom, just like all the fish move away from the vessel and like start clamping around him. Instantly, you cannot see Joshua anymore. And then who who dimension doors him? Connor? I dimension doors him. Okay, you dimension door him back onto the deck, and just instantly there's just like, a just fish are continuously like pouring through the dimension gate <laughs> after him, like jumping through and chasing after him. Hell yeah. I do oh, believe that was 97 individual fish. <laughs> There is more fish than water coming through this gate. That's that's how much they That's want. impressive. <laughs> I sure and don't like that. I wasn't cut out to be a <laughs> I mean, technically, I was the magician because I pulled you out of, like, thin air. Uh, Joshua, I will say that you do take 19 points of fish damage, though. <laughs> fish damage. <laughs> that's awesome. That's it. I love From now on, you... fish damage is an official category of damage in any of my games. I love that you made that up. Like, you just need fish hear. damage because that yeah. sounds um, the these fish range anywhere from between like palm size to like forearm length. Um, so you probably wouldn't get anything larger than like a wand or a dagger uh, inside of these fish, probably. Um, but there are also some fish that are so, you know, uh, adamant on getting magic items that they might even spear themselves onto a magic sword and subsist themselves off of it. Crazy stories like that have been heard to have happened. Can I have dibs on like a magic sword or something, please? Because last one is a lumpy space princess. So I think <laughs> at this point I've earned a magical item. Uh, everybody uh, else gets one, I'd like one too. I I am going to say <laughs> with this, um, you know what? I, I will say that everyone here can get one magic item of, I will say rare or under. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Oh man, that's a... Uh... By the way, how's the rest of the school of fish looking, or did they all come to us? I mean, most of them are currently flopping and dying on the boat, and, you know, these fish aren't great for eating. You can, but mostly what they're being dealt with right now is people are just like, uh, actually, I don't think anybody's cutting them open at the moment. They're still trying to just get as many fish as possible. Um, They can cut them open later. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I Josh, would oh. like. Uh, I would like to look over the edge and, with my looking glass, I'm going to try and spot the next largest batch of fish. Okay. Now this this looking glass that you have, it's for helping you see farther away. So your perception yeah. checks will be made at vantage. It doesn't help you see through water. It's not magical. Yeah. So uh, I, I will say if you want to make a perception check with advantage, you may. But you do know that there is still quite a bit of fish still surrounding the vessel. You know, if Joshua did that like maybe three more times, that would thin it out so much that nobody would bother getting any other fish. Uh, I would like to jump in the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, I don't have that many spell slots to spare you. <laughs> I, I got a dirty 20, but... Well, no. I'd have to perception check first. Keep not actually paying attention to him jumping in the water again. Well, he backflips into the water. Don't forget a... Oh, uh, there he goes. Yeah, Captain Hargrove is like, eh, you can be pretty impressive. You know, if you did that a couple more times, then sploosh. <laughs> I do mention door him back. Just before he... Okay. Uh, is someone dimension door him again? or? I can dimension door him back. I, that's my last fourth level spell slide. 
Okay, Joshua, make another Arcana check. Oh, Bardic Inspiration. Ready? Where's my D20? Oh no, my dice. Ah, uh, I only got uh six. Don't forget okay. your Bardic Inspiration. Wait, yeah, Bardic Inspiration. Alright, what's 19 plus 4? 21. Got a 21. Okay. Oh, Bart. Yeah. Yeah, it, same amount again. Um, you take 17 points of fish damage, Joshua. Um, I'm still laughing at the idea of fish damage. Uh, and you, you summon 51 fish this time. So I'll say everyone can get one uncommon magic item uh, and under. Um, okay. Uh, for, for certain, like you can easily get that. If you guys want to spend some more time searching or looking for things specifically, I will roll, uh, you know, at random. But at currently, you can just get those. Just because there's such yeah. a, a bevy. And they do have to be, you know, relatively small to have fit inside of a fish. Holgear is definitely going to practice filleting fish this time. Okay. He's going to yeah. make sure to kill them this time. Yeah, you can absolutely try cooking with fish because there's just a lot to go through. Um, and I will say that with that, you, you guys have gone through a significant portion of this school of fish. Um, that if you don't want to worry about it for the rest of the day, uh, the rest of the crew can like, you know, drag net the, the last kind of remaining ones. Uh, actually I was going to encourage the drag netting and time it with my spell, assuming my dirty 20 could spot a decent gold school of fish. Yeah. You, you can find like a, a good grouping that's kind of gathering on the side of the ship or something. Uh, what spell did you want to do? I want to cast Hypnotic Pattern so that their movement speed is reduced to zero so they basically just float to the surface. Uh, again, their their, vi their movement isn't based off of vision. It's a magical sense. Oh, so they're, they can't be charmed? They're bottom feeders. I believe this is a visual-based spell. Oh, so they just straight up don't have eyes. I'm not saying that they or, don't have eyes, but, you know... They don't rely on them. Right. Hmm. They would okay. be more attracted to you, like, casting a uh, firebolt into the water, and then, like, five of them would swim over, and you'd be able to spear one or two. Or Talia could do something with water, I don't know. I mean, I'm I could use... I could I use control... I can use control water and basically just, like, bring bring it up. Yeah, if you want to try and scrape off the, the last few ones that are on the bottom of the boat, you can. Okay. Uh, make a... What's your what's your spell casting ability? Uh, <clears throat> my save DC is a fourteen. My spell attack is a plus six, and my modifier is a plus three. Do you know what ability it is? Uh, charisma, probably. Charisma. Yeah. Oh, because she's a warlock. Yeah. Make a charisma yeah. saving throw. Charisma. Yeah. Actually, well, actually, to be quite honest, I, I lied. Charisma saving throws are my best ones. Okay. And it's 18. Okay, yeah. Uh, I will say that with that, you guys have captured the entire uh, school of fish. We are quite the amazing individuals, don't you agree, everyone? Connor just laying on his back after using two dimension doors and it's just like 
being like, you made me waste my two good teleportation spells, bro. I mean, you could go take a a, a long rest. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna be now. looking through. I'm gonna be looking through like this stuff so I can get my hands on anything good. Hey, Joshua, if you want to change your message to say that you guys can have two uncommon magic items if you're choosing. I already picked, like, the ones I want. I'm just debating which one I really want to take. Okay, you you can't get a tattoo from a from inside of a fish stomach. Damn it, it was worth a you shot. Get tattoo <laughs> ink. It was worth um, a shot. It was worth a shot. You could absolutely get a, a deck of illusions or uh, an instrument. Hmm. You know what? I'll take deck of illusions and glamoured uh, studied leather armor. Oh, I, you, you know what? You know what? Okay, never mind. What? Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the armor and deck of illusions. Uh, I don't uh, think uh, studded leather armor would be inside of a fish either. Again, please, within reasons that would be inside of a, a fish. All right, I'll take a deck of illusions and a uh, bard's uh, you, instrument. You know what? I will say this. There's probably a glamour studded belt that will give you plus one to AC. All right, glamour studded belt. All right, we'll worry about this later. All right, well, I'm going to remove the uh, armor real quick. I think you can, like, adjust your AC and give yourself just, like, a, a plus one via magic or something. Uh, so yeah. we get three items in total, or just... Yes. Um, and that's just just from in general. If you want to continue searching and whatnot, uh, you, you also may. Well, I'm definitely going to take the deck of illusions, because that kind of sounds like fun little shenanigans. Uh, would I be able to convince you that a broom of flying can fit in a fish's mouth? <sighs> <laughs> All right, Maybe one of the out. twigs. Yes. I will say yes. A broom of flying your beans. And I'll take a bar to get instrument. Okay. A figurine of wondrous power. small beast that can fit in a pocket. Come on, it's oh. gotta be in a <laughs> but oh. it's gotta be in a fish. Oh, strange. Uh, it, uh, instrument of Bard is not appearing. Hmm. Oh, that's because they've actually been, like, named and they're under wondrous items. Oh, jeez. Oh. You've got, like, liar of something, bandolier of something else. Oh shit! I, I didn't know that. Uh, I'll I gotta redo really my look through them. Um, uh, I guess I'll take a do I want a stone of good luck. We we don't have to do this right now as well. Uh, no, I'm, just, are... I'm just debating. It's just one of those things. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I'm just saying it out loud, just for my benefit of thinking. You know. Okay. Um, after a while, uh, my goodness, a fish ate a horrible hole. Oh no. <laughs> That's terrifying. How does it, how does it fit? So that means no matter how much you eat, it will always be hungry? Yeah. Anyway, Joshua would like to search for mystical metals. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm going to look for other stuff too, like just search through. Uh, Joshua, either make a probably investigation or a survival check, because this is kind of sorting through fish, and then also kind of so I either you just kind of cut and open random fish and seeing what's inside, or specifically trying to find fish that you think would have something good inside. So, you want bardic inspiration? Plus zero in investigation, but a plus one in survival. 
Alright, let's go survival, and I will take that bardic inspiration. Alright, I will give him bardic inspiration. Be like, you got this, Joshua. You're not gonna die. Why is that the go-to? I just saw my friend get faded out of existence in front of me. You don't know him. I do. I got a 7 and a 16. Did you did you roll twice? Yeah. Oh, did you have advantage? I had Bardic Inspiration. Bardic Inspiration oh, gives you a D8. Oh yeah. DM right. Inspiration gives you advantage. That's why I try not to say DM Inspiration. I say that I give you advantage. Man. All right, where's my D8? I mean, you do have some in, some uh, inspiration. Oh yeah, right I'd like to use an auto twenty. All right, fine. Um, I will say this: how how long uh, do you want to spend? Do you want to spend the rest of the day going through all the the fish? Rest of the day and some of the next morning. Okay, yeah, you can absolutely, like, nobody really wants to deal with the fish, but a few people are kind of uh, excited first and try it. But if you want to absolutely take care of these fish, then nobody's oh. going to bother to stop you. Um, I will say with that, yes? Uh, 100%, I'm helping him, but I'm basically giving him the stomachs and just, like, trying to dry the meats. Okay, make a make a survival check. I'm I'm still looking through stuff, sorry. Uh Joshua. Yeah. You get two hundred and thirty seven uh GP worth of crafting material. God damn. And th and this is plus three crafting material. So any checks that you make Ooh. with this crafting material is plus three. All right, so 237 GP worth of crafting material. And I will say that this is anything magical. Not specifically, you know, like uh, alchemist or brewing or like th this can be all purpose. It's 213? 37. 237, 237 worth of crafting material. Plus uh, three crafting yeah, material. Yeah, and it's, and it's plus three crafting material, yeah. This is good stuff. You're finding, like, different pieces of, like, metal or crystals or even, like, enchanted objects and, like, different doodads and things that you can absolutely re reconstitute and reconstruct. Um, and also, with the help of your, your forge friend, he is easily able to, like, break it down and make it into usable, like, ingots and bricks. You're just, like, pulling it out and tossing it into him, and he's just, like, sorting it out. It's like a, it's just like a machine process. You guys are working together. Alright. So, I'm probably gonna talk to you a bit after the whole, well, after the whole session. Okay. You want to craft some more stuff? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, absolutely we can. Um, Survival check was a 22. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you know generally to, like, you know, take off the scales and kind of, like, pull out the, the bone and kind of the guts, and then you've kind of got a bit of meat, you know, that's kind of there. Um and then you just kind of put it on like a drying rack and uh, I suppose if you're I, careful you could take it down to the kitchen and get it like smoking and whatnot. I know what I can do or at oh. least what I can try to do uh, I'm gonna get all the fish fillets into a into my magic bag okay and uh, whenever I get done getting all the fillets I can I'm going to go to the world's end journey's oh. end sorry oh the the diner in the desert mm -hmm. and i'm gonna see if they can cook it you want them to cook it for you yeah i want to see if they can get it they, you said they do it begrudgingly meat. you said it's not good meat so i was hoping to like challenge them to make it good 
Yeah, uh, they, they can make it into a few various things. Um, you know, they can they can cook it up and present it. Probably some of the best stuff is probably I don't know some sort of like where where it's not like the main point of the meal, but it's in there. Something like I don't know a stew, or it's like the garnish onto something else. Uh, okay. But again, once you once you eat it, you can't, or once it's cooked, you can't take it with you. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll save a lot of it with me. I'll just put a lot of it aside for smoking whenever we get a chance. Okay. Uh, would the, uh, and they would ver the they would part? barely appreciate it if you didn't like put them up by the the windows and dry your fish in this enclosed space. Oh yeah, no, I'm not doing that at your Okay, show. that's just rude. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. That's, you that's were. just rude. I thought that's uh, why you were taking it to the desert to dry it out quickly. I was I, thinking like it's a magic kitchen, they'd be able to manage the f cooking and smoking of it better than I could. But I mean, what you could do is take it to uh, Mutton Chop's place and smoke it there. That's where they deal with. He, he dealt with like raw meats and such. Yeah. That's yeah, he's got next. some some tanning beds that you could. Uh, reconstitute uh, he, he actually even to... had some uh like uh hot 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 rocks that he would basically sear stuff on this is probably a really dumb question but uh could the fish contain a short sword yes i am going to take the short sword of warning okay because that is a very useful item regardless and now I got one rare item I need to figure out what I want. <laughs> you pull out your sword. It's like, ah, warning. There's danger nearby. <laughs> ah, where? Where? <laughs> You're like, gosh dang it, not another talking sword. <laughs> Why don't you get a talking sword, guys? I just keep drawing these talking swords <laughs> every every object becomes sentient in Connor's hands dude I gate my sword didn't talk why didn't you just use that I, one I just pulled my hand into one and pulled out a short sword I I don't know you stranger danger I'm Connor oh, <laughs> The Lord of Pancakes, don't you know? Wait, wait. Oh, 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 I want to do something funny. Hey, uh, Holger, can I see the uh, Lumby Space Sword? I feel like this isn't going to end well, but yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I see you finally pulled me out. You finally need me for once? I just hold them together so they like looking at each other. Like the equivalent of them looking at each other. <laughs> do, you, do you touch them to each other? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, uh, say hi, I guess, to each other. Ah, oh, you, you look scary. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my whole business. And what is your nonsense? Just being loud and annoying. Ah, uh, you know, kind of, sort of, yeah. Kind of what do you way. want from me? I love this episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> I love High on Life. I don't Honestly, regret yeah, that. I don't care what anybody says. I don't regret that choice. I I I, I took a bit and I'm committing to it. I'm gonna I go use the bathroom. You talk amongst <laughs> yourselves for two minutes. I don't regret All right, my choice. So here's my plan. I'm gonna make good plan. I'm keeping the short sword, by the way, just because of the advantage. Making an elemental barrel system is a very, very good idea. What does that even mean? It means whenever I shoot, the barrel's going to turn to a different element. Oh, I thought you meant like straight up like fish barrels. No. S salt pork and all that. Hey, uh, Sparrow? Yeah. I don't regret my choice. You should. <laughs> I know. I'm Bad glad. Friend. I chose oh. it, and I'm, and I'm proud of it. Uh, the scimitar of snark. 
Uh, that's considered a magical, correct? The scimitar of what now? Oh, I was calling the bitchy sword the scimitar of snark because it gives you so much snark. It's called the toxist because it's toxic. Oh, I didn't realize I had a name. That, oh, that. Oh, okay. I Not called joking. it that, yeah. I, I still don't regret my choice. I'm sticking to my bit. I would very much like to have the scimitar and short sword just for the pure sake of having a bit. Honor, just so you know, I am going to bother you about this bit from now on. Do it. I, I don't regret this bit at all. I, I, I knew what I was doing and I chose it. I don't regret it. Okay, okay you, can say, you can say what you want, but you gotta respect my ability to commit to the bit. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do today? Um, I'm I'm still looking for like a rare item. I don't know what I'd want to get, so that's about all I'm going to be really doing. Uh, Joshua takes a long nap after gutting all those fish. Okay, yeah. I'm going um, I... to take the gutted fish to uh, mud chops. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, you can leave it there and come back for it. Um, I managed to find one uncommon uh, item. The Ring of Mind Shielding. Yeah. Fish could have absolutely eaten a ring. And I actually like I actually like oh, that ring. We should really look for my, uh, homebrew magic items because I would pretty much allow anything in there. I know that's what that's well, what I'm I doing. I don't right have now. a list of those, so yeah, I'm not sure how best to sort those. I tr out. I tried looking up the snarky blade and it didn't pop up. No, it, it's not a magic item that I've made. All right. Okay, I was just giving you like the heads up, like there was another name for it, and I didn't find it. No, I. I suppose I could make it for you. I was just hoping that you would have written down the information that I told you. <clears throat> I did. I did. I, I, I'm just. Okay. Just, if you want me to make I'm you a good. magic item later to add to your character sheet, I can do that. I just. I just forgot to like. I just. I just do it for the. Pure I wasn't better, sure like, if you guys were actually gonna keep it and use it, so I didn't want to spend the time making it. I'm. Oh, we're keeping it apparently. Okay. <laughs> I'm keeping it for my bit. Keeping it for his well, I mean, if you just want it as a pet, then I don't have to make a magic item for it. Nah, I'll just use like a plus one scimitar and just do that. Okay. I I might need you to send me the notes on it just so I can add it to my notes so I know it's like as accurate as possible, but that, I, that I, I'm fine with. I believe it's just a plus one scimitar that when it, it deals is. damage re reduces enemy AC by 1d6. Okay. I might need reminders when I do that when I use it just okay. for a little bit, but I, I should be fine. Oh no, whole gear died. He's womp back. womp. He's alive. Whole gear came back. Yeah, Jet like loose. Well, because nobody was responding, so I guess my Discord got wonky. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, sorry. It, it just wasn't reading that I was talking. Oh. Because I thought. I thought it was a plus three scimitar. Yeah, I, I believe it's a plus three scimitar. I thought yeah, it was too. Because it's really good at cutting through things. Oh, yeah. And then, uh... I mean, Holger, did you did you write down what I said? I don't remember what I said. Yeah, it's I, I don't want to pull up my notes right now because it's bright white. <laughs> uh, plus three scimitar, uh... Reduces AC by 1d6 on a hit. Okay. And so I think you can give yourself a plus 3 scimitar and just know that that's what it does. Or maybe write that in the notes of the weapon. Oh yeah, I, I'll do that. Uh, 1d6, let me just add that to my notes. So that way I don't do you, forget. Do you want to keep it? 
I want to say yes. Do you want me to hold it in my bag until you have it back? Yes. I'm keeping the okay. sword of warning mostly because it gives advantage on it on an on initiative and you know it prevents being surprised. There you go. Uh, it takes one d six off of uh, AC, right? Yeah, off of the enemy AC when it, whenever it hits. Would it just cuts idea. through stuff. Even magic items. Oh, sweet. I want potato lettuce. Do do do. It's made what? from the fang of a ancient black dragon. Oh, the sword of warning. No, no, no the the toxic. Toxic. Uh, Oh, Wait. That's why so, so does that mean the voice that we hear is the voice of a really angry ancient black dragon? Yeah, and it got freaking imbued into a stupid dumb sword and is being wilted around by mortals. Oh, <laughs> I intimidate it to be nicer. <laughs> you can certainly try. Oh, I found a few that are really good uh, items. Uh... A few good magic right, items. I'm rolling intimidation. Where's my stat block? Oh, uh, there's ring of evasion. Dice this time round. Ring of free if it's action. if it's small enough to have fit inside of a fish, then yes. You don't need oh, to ask just, me. My lucky okay, I'm just I'm, again. This is me just thinking out loud. I'm just trying to figure okay. out which is the better one. Of yeah, it. people on the deck are like cutting open fish and like passing around like, "Hey, I don't want this. Can I can I trade it for that?" You know, it's like just a white elephant card. gift exchange just, right now. Just trading card. Oh, mode. dude, I'm kind of fucked up, but okay. Th it's my favorite part of Halloween. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you've got a fish and. Share, share it with your friends. Well, you're you're trading your Snickers for a Twix. Yeah. I get you. Right, just uh, to be clear, I do want to intimidate the sword into being nicer. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? I say, stop it or I'll melt you down. Because I rolled a freaking eight on my lucky dice. Can I give you bargain inspiration? Not after no. the fact. God ah, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I tried, bro. I yeah, you know, action. I know that your flames are kind of all hot and all, but I'm kind of like a big deal. Like, I'm not even a normal weapon that can be, you know, forged or whatnot. I had to be carved from my actual body, so that's kind of a bunch of nonsense and hooey, and you should know that. Dragons themselves are pretty much immune to fire, so... You're just kind of blowing a lot of hot air, not even fire at the moment. Like, come on, come at me. Wow, she really does cut deep. <laughs> she takes the sword from Connor and tosses it overboard, saying, I bet the cold depths will be good enough for you. Oh shit, my dice. I'm still holding the uh, sort of warning in my other hand, by the way. No, we, Wait, we so do you, just, do you just let him grab it from you? Why? I'm like, no. It just, I imagine it just happens so fast out of nowhere. Like, it just happens so fast, you know? Well, like, there's a thing called grapple check, but if you just want to let him do it, you can. Ah, uh, damn it. This is, this is a real count. You know what? Screw it. I am going to try it because it's a plus three weapon, you know? So it's like... No. All right, Joshua, <laughs> make, make an athletics check, and Connor, make a, an athletics or acrobatics check. I'll do... Sort of been the funniest way to get rid of it. Throwing it over rid of it. That's what you've tried to do last session. Nineteen. Yeah. What is, what, what is with you and throwing this Throw thing over ten? Okay. No, you don't grab the sword from Connor. Connor has a, a deceptively great grip strengths. Oh right, yes, Connor. please throw me overboard. Those fish would be much better conversation pieces than you. Ha hand it over. I'll put it back in the bag. It's a terrible influence on you guys. All right. Here you go. But I'm keeping the short sword. I'm only yeah, telling no, them what they need to hear. I'm only reflecting what is part of the. I, I put him in the bag. I put him in the bag. I put him in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, hey, put here. Let me put my soul. portable hole in there too. No, don't, don't do it. Well, gear, I need your bag. No. Just wait. <laughs> gently Dude, placing a finger thing. against the hilt and pushing it deeper into the bag. I'm just like, I'm just like. Shh. 
Pole Gear, can you put my portable hole in your bag too? I don't trust myself <laughs> with much power. Joshua, make an intelligence check. Oh no, Joshua knows what's gonna happen. Just he just care. really he wants. He just really, really wants that sword gone. He doesn't. Ma he doesn't care that I spent 150 gold on all the stuff inside my bag. Exactly. Whole gear. <laughs> do, do you follow through his wish on putting an extra-dimensional space inside of an extra-dimensional space? No. Okay. <laughs> That's like rule number three. Yeah, rule well, number one. Rule number one through two. Uh, always a trust a flump, and always throw a piece of gold in a water well. I don't know why. I was just I mean, it's supposed to be because well, there's like a Witcher a... down at the bottom of the well. That's a Did terrible place exists in this world. <laughs> yes. I've played Geralt. No. No. Tally has been trying to say and do something for the past 15 minutes. I am so oh, sorry, sorry. Talia. Okay, I'm just sorry, trying Talia. to find... I'm just trying to find... Um, my, like, shit to... I mean, I found one, but I can't seem to find, like, like some others that are, like, interesting. Uh, do you want to mess... Good. Do you want me to message the list I use? The website I use? Well, if you use D&D &D Beyond, you can look up magic items and then sort via uh, type. Like, yeah, rarity. But this one has got, like, every single magic item for okay. free, so... Every single official magic item. Oh, free, gotcha. So. I mean, I kind of like this cloak of the man of the manta ray um, but see, the thing is is that when you pull is that um it requires an action to pull the hood on and off and it's and it's just like oh come on but you can do that as a free action yeah but i want to turn it into an actual manta ray that would be awesome uh, a what a banner Oh, that you turned can... into an actual manta ray. That would be awesome. You, you know what? I, I like will say this. <clears throat> or, like, have a cloak that would turn me into, like, some kind of aquatic creature. The cloak of squid making. <laughs> oh, actually, I'll take a cloak of displacement. Uh, I was going to get this uh, a little bit later, but uh, some of the snufters have absorbed uh, enough magic items that there are a few, like, <laughs> there's like a sort of animated attack that has like gills and flippers on it and is dancing around on the deck. Because snufters, once they absorb the magic of magic items, will actually turn into basically fish versions of magic items. So there is basically a actual living manta ray cloak that is also flopping around on the deck as well. So if you want to tame it, you can. Okay. Okay, um, I, I will also say that there is probably some sort of magic item, whether it be ring, hat, or cloak, or something, that allows you to turn into an item, or a creature, rather. Um, but I, I'll, I'll roll it at random. Uh, would a cloak of displacement be a thing? Yeah. Would that be absorbed by a fish? <clears throat> yeah. So, my magic items are Cloak of Displacement, Deck of Illusions, and Short Sword of Warning. Yeah, uh, also, someone found a deck of many things and gave it to Captain Hardgrave. And he's like, no, no nobody's getting this. Oh, Not until God. we get off the ship. Nobody's okay. getting this. <laughs> I'll trade in my Deck of Illusions for the Deck of Many Things. No, he doesn't trust anybody. Okay, that's very fair. Absolutely like step Captain. off. Captain, I'll there is no you. discussion about this. <laughs> Captain, finally something with two dollars and a waffle if you give me the deck. <laughs> he... Does a 21 hit your AC? 
<laughs> of fucking course it does. You take 15 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage as he slaps you across the face. 15? Yes! <laughs> Alright, I'm at 5 health. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> he, he knocks Joshua to the ground and his, his lip and ear is bleeding a little bit and there's just this red stain across his face. I just can you medicine check to fix him up, like yeah, of, like yeah, you medicine. Can, you, you can stop him from bleeding. That's not a problem. I'm he, just gonna, he, I'm just gonna do. He is seething, and he's like, nobody respects me on this ship. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I don't respect you. I mean, Captain, if it makes you feel any better, I don't respect many people. At least this version doesn't. That doesn't make any sense to him. You have to, I, I you have to give spec to earn respect. I know. Anywho, he he takes the deck of many things away. You know, I'm very, very tempted bad. to. I'm honestly very tempted to draw something from my deck of illusions now. Just to see what I get, but I could get something really cool. And I'd lose it forever. You know? <clears throat> I got a 16 in animal handling. I want to tame that little cloak thing that's flopping around on the deck. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you can try and calm it down. You pull it away from the people that want to cut it open. Um... And I will say, <laughs> mine, mine, yeah. mine. Uh, as long as you keep it hydrated uh, daily, uh, it will stay alive. And you have, you now have a sentient cloak of the manta ray, Sweet. which means that it can move on its own. So it can it can swim through the water, but it yeah, it can fly too. I cannot fly in the air. No. Um, there is also a belt that turns you into a table. Mm -mm, no. Nope. Can, can you turn back? Yes. Oh, thank God. You just become a <laughs> sentient table. Uh, and it's any any sort of table you want. I mean, I can already do that, but in reverse. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, is that... I, I do that. I can make things come to life for like five minutes. There's like five different hats that turns into uh, a creature. There's like a hat that turns into a bat. There's a hat that turns into a flump. There's a hat that turns into a, a, a bunny. A what? Bunny. A bunny. Oh my god, that sounds adorable. I'm just imagining Talia, a bunny Talia now. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's canon now. That's an official canon image. Uh, no, it's not. The old Jar yeah. fan. An art of it. Yeah, she puts it on and she turns into a bunny, but she still looks like an angry Talia. But, like, adorable because she's a bunny. Okay, so you said a bat, a bunny, and what else? Um... Uh... uh I'm, I'm just gonna look up uh, a list of random... Uh... Oh! The... the there, there's a one that turns into a chinchilla. Um, there's one That's that turns terrible. into <laughs> um, a beaver, and there's one that turns into a uh, lemur. Mm. A cat, a bat. Oh, uh, and and there's one that turns into a turtle. A lot of animal-related 
shape shifting items. There, there's a belt that turns into a ferret, and a belt that turns into a uh, lizard, and a belt that turns into a snake. That one's. That one's I've had an eye on for a while. It's a I've ferret. Played a rogue. It's a ferret. Yes. Belt of ferret. You want a belt of ferret? Okay, go ahead and add belt of ferret. It yeah, is a magic no. item. You do not have to attune to it. You can just activate it and it turns into a ferret. You do have to tame the uh, ferret. I am going to be pickpocketing everyone now. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd take Joshua. He's having ferret meat for dinner. Oh, oh, there is a belt of pants. A belt that casts an illusion of pants on you, which you can activate and deactivate as a free action. Oh, gosh. I just magic mic this, you know, it's like, hell yeah. Basically. Seduce the guards. No. Oh, I'll do the, uh, Don't worry, guys. I regret guys. saying that. Don't worry, I guys. I know exactly how to seduce the dragon. I go up to it. I grabbed my pants and I just dispel the illusion. Um, Connor is hereby <laughs> banned from using the belt of pants. To carry still the belt of pants from them. I mean, it would be magical clothes that Joshua would be able to wear after burning up. Oh yeah. I just I, 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 I hooked the belt to him. Thing. I hooked the belt to him without him realizing it. I thought, he was kinda, I thought he was rocking the assless chaps. <laughs> look. He burned it's either, Look. I want to make it clear that in lore, <laughs> the, the lucky pants are an actual pair of pants in the Destiny universe. Yeah. Not assless chaps. Dilly, it's candid. They're assless chaps now. No, I, I, I like it my way. Yeah, assless I, chaps. I, oh, the assless chaps thing actually makes me angry. So I could say. I mean, that's what chaps. that's what chaps are, though. Yeah. Yeah, chaps are inherently assless. Yeah. Who would just it's like regular lucky pants? Thank you very much. I you didn't say lucky regular lucky pants. You said lucky chaps. No, they are lucky pants. I'm gonna be very honest. Joshua, you're my buddy, you know, but I gotta be very honest with you. I kinda wanna just joke about it now just to take you off a little bit. I'm no longer making you things, Connor. You hadn't made me Jack and or shit. I was making just... you something, but I'm no longer making you it. Oh, don't do that. Uh no, Would... this is what you get. Then I guess what I'm if... not helping you build a cult. It's a guild. Guild, cult, same what? difference. I'm just going to start posting part. a bunch of my homebrew magic items that would be inside of these fish. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do any of the fish contain the orphan obliterator? No! <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> I want that now! How did you find that? How did you... It's, at the, it's at the very <laughs> bottom of wands. Where is it? I want to see this. <laughs> my you were just idea. looking through the entire list. It's just underneath the it? rare. It's only like six down from the rare. <laughs> that is a legendary weapon and one of the first magic items I tried to make and never finished. Hey, that is absolutely guys. not for sale. Hey guys, oh, it would not fit anymore. inside of a fish. Also, <laughs> legendary artifact. No. Give me the obliterator, please. I am willing to forsake all of my equipment and every single thing I have Are you willing so to obliterate an orphan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, my... Just for the bit. 
You don't even know what it does. Who's getting a bit? Hey, Jasper, I don't care. I want it. Do you know what it is? Is it a sword? No, it's a wand. It is a sword, but. It's a sword? I'm gonna use the orphan obliterator to cripple somebody. Oh dear god. Chop off their legs. Is it basically well, the Elder Wand, but with a different name? No, no. Damn. Oh, that's clever. That is clever, though. Man, I thought everyone was worried about me being crazy. Give me the Orphan Obliterator, please. No. No. But, quick question. Oh. Would a liar have fit inside one of these fish? Sure. Yes. Why not? I I did already state that uh, magic uh, um, magical instruments that you can use as spell casting would be in there. I was gonna take up like a, I was gonna take bardic instrument, but that's like a higher level item than what you said we could get, so. <laughs> well, what instrument do you have? I have no instrument, but I am proficient in a shit ton of instruments, even though I am a bard who does not do any performing. That is well, Which one are you hope? What instrument okay, can are you I at least for? see? I a violin. See the document for the orphan crippler. <laughs> no, like I said, I didn't finish it. I was planning on taking a violin. Oh yeah, it doesn't look you like you actually play violin. Yes, I have proficiency in violin. There's the All right, do you think it's a good time to take a break? Because I need some water. Actually, I need to go. It's kind of getting late for me. I can keep going for like maybe another like fifteen minutes, but yeah, I I got an appointment tomorrow morning. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to be the last thing, but we we're supposed I'm... to get through these these days more than one day of possession. I am so sorry. I'm not gonna lie, this was really fun though. Okay. Um, yeah, this was I'm, the most fun. I am so, so sorry for my favorite stuff. session so far. It's okay. All of oh. you had better watch your pockets. I'm coming for you. <laughs> what well, what are you gonna do with your belt for it? Ferret. Ferret um ferrets are litter. Their, um, their Latin name literally means stinky mouse killing thieves. Yeah. Huh, my grandmother said it's the same thing about my uncle. And just the flip coin actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, the flip one looks awesome. I wish I had that for my monk. That would be so freaking useful. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Get this out, please. What? Okay, so let's see. Ring of Mind Shielding, Belt of Ferret. Oh, let's see. Uh, what's the, um. Uh, what's the. Like, what's the. And I mean, if you guys want to get more items than just those main ones that I gave you, you can make some checks to either look for them or trade with people. So either make invest look, investigation or persuasion checks if you're looking for something specific. Can I look for like a, a like a violin for? Is that like a, can I look for a bard against me in a violin or is that too big? Yeah, no, you can absolutely do that. Make a either investigation or persuasion check. Either you're looking for your one or you're asking for one. I am uh, going to give him bardic inspiration. Okay, I'm going to do persuasion because I got a plus five to that. Okay. 18, and what do I add to the Bardic Inspiration? 8? Yep, D8. Okay. Uh, Dirty 20. Okay, yeah, you absolutely find what you're looking for. That's oh, sweet. Uh, Bardic Violin. 
However, wait. It has been fully consumed and ac accumulated with a fish. So it it is a fish instrument that you have to keep hydrated and is fairly sentient. So if you put it in the water, it will have I a mind it. of its own. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ah, uh, damn it. You have, um... Can I ask you a question? If you want to tame it, you can as a familiar. Yeah, can I tame it? Yeah, you can do that. Make <laughs> nature Would check. that be like... Okay, I was gonna ask, is that nature or animal? Uh, yeah, actually probably animal handling would be better. Uh, I got a plus four to that. Natural 20 plus 4, 24. Okay, yeah, the fish uh, follows basic instructions like a familiar. Is it like flying around or is it just like a No, it's fish? a fish! <laughs> I'm just pretty sure. Not, every, not everything flies. If you put it in the water, it will swim around. Alright, damn it, I'm trying to put in... You have to, like, keep it in, like, a bucket or something. Oh my god. Oh, you should turn- you should teach it to play itself. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm trying to look for- Look for, like, a... A creature for it. A waterlogged guitar, oh boy. A ring of the grammarian. Hey, is a cave fisher, like, an acceptable thing to put in for it, or no? Uh... Sorry, uh... Hold on. Whole gear. Make make either a persuasion or investigation check looking for Ring of Grammarian. Uh, Connor, uh, what did you say? Uh, oh, I'm putting in fish for, like, my familiar. And I found cave fisher. Is that, like, an acceptable substitute or... No. I think cave fisher is, like, a monster. Yeah, that's, like, a crab thing. Oh. Uh, what would I put down for it, then? Just know that your your uh, your instrument is sentient. That's all. I just put like a no, note. Instrument is fish. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-five persuasion. All right. I'm gonna roll to see if anybody found it. Um. Somebody has it, and they're willing to trade. What are you offering? <laughs> Um, my life. <laughs> They'll take money. Fourteen GP. Make it twenty. I physically cannot. <laughs> All right. Uh, split the difference. I'll... Sixteen. Okay, I can do sixteen. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I got a fun, I got a sentient fish. I mean, most fish are sentient, but okay. I mean, mine's is a very magically magical and sentient. Like he, he found sentient. he found a fish that ate a ukulele, <laughs> and yes. it became part of him. It's a violin, dude. Not a ukulele. Yeah. Violin, whatever. It's got like one long weird. Uh, actually, no, it, it doesn't have a bow, so you'll have to, you'll have to get your own bow to play it. I got, I got a performance of creation, so I can just make myself a bow if I really need yeah, it. Yeah, you can do that pretty easily. <laughs> can I polymorph it into, like, a violin to play, or? I mean, polymorph transforms living objects into other living objects, not inanimate I objects. Didn't. God damn it. I will say if you want to polymorph an inanimate object into something other that's not inanimate, you can as well. Oh, so I could polymorph like my dagger into a bow streak. Sweet. Yeah, I suppose. It only lasts for a certain amount of time, though. Uh, <laughs> let, me I, I, let me review how long polymorph lasts so I can see if it's a meaningful oh use God, in this spell. I love that song. I know, it's so good. It lasts Hey up to there, an hour. I'm the bar of the team. I've got a tragic backstory, and my glasses are me. 
I know, uh, that, that song is stuck in All parties are back. I'm a jack of all trades, including the jack. Hey there, part hey, no. maiden squirt. I hope you don't mind, but I'm a devious flirt. Can I, can I like, see if anyone has, like, a, a fish bowl or something? I can put my new you can get thing You in. can get a pail pretty easily to stick your violin in. I, I put it in there and be like, uh, yes, bye. Yeah, you could get like a, a small basin or a barrel or something. I named my fish Vi. Oh, I like that. Yes. Most because I don't. Wait, can I tell if it's a get boy or a girl? Can I ask him? I forgot to ask. Is it a boy or a girl? Or a <laughs> no, uh, fuck it. It's it, cool it's name. A fish. Um, did you just misgender this fish? Yes. It clearly identifies as a violin. <laughs> okay. Its its name is Vi. I say Connor's like, behold Vi. And I just do like lying and shit and just hold it. It, it releases head. a few blubs that kind of strums its strings slightly. Yes. Alright, so have you stopped recording, Sparrow? No, we're still going. There was so much more I wanted to try and do. Okay. Are are you guys done with magic items? Yeah, we're okay. Um, I think I'm good as of right now. Okay, we can also figure this out more via just text chat as well. But. Yeah. <sighs> okay, the only other thing that happens today is uh, a, a branch from a tree falls into the river and you guys need to move it. We're on a river? I thought this was an ocean. No! Dog. Dog. I just want to end the campaign. No, please! I'm sorry! I swear to God, I'm sorry. Every please single don't. session and almost every single scene, I describe it as a river. A man-made river going through the mountains from one city <laughs> to another. I'm sorry. Even when you say you throw the, the thing into the water, I keep saying, yeah, the river. Oh, I'm sorry. I just feel like people don't pay attention to the words that I say, and I spend so I hard to make attention. them very pretty and elegant. I'm so sorry. I pay attention. Someone else on the ship takes care of the branch. It's not an issue. Go to bed. It's tomorrow, and we'll continue next session. It's fine. <laughs> 